lot of great moments in my life was recorded. The day that I received salvation, that was recorded. The day of my graduation, that was recorded. The day that I had the opportunity to minister, you know what I mean, salvation to sin sick souls and give edification to the saints, that was recorded. Prom night when all my so-called friends and peers and things was on prom night, fornicating and just having a good time, you know, in the town. You know, I was preaching to almost 6,000 people that night. I wasn't at prom. I was too busy preaching. One of the greatest days in my life was when I was able to give back to Dunbar Vocational High School. Well, another great day in my life was when I was able to give back, you know what I mean, to children who have uh, learning disabilities and behavior disorders. So when God and the game, you know, blessed me to be in position to be able to give that little measly 10,000, because even though it was just 10,000, because Lord knows my heart, I wanted to be able to give more, you know what I mean? 100,000 ain't enough, you know. Um, but you know, when I was able to give 10000 to Dunbar Vocational High School, and when I was able to give another 10000 uh, to the children uh, with learning disabilities and behavior disorders for the educational center, uh, and also I was the guest speaker at the educational center convention, uh, these were some of the most happiest moments, you know, in my life. You know, and they were recorded. Amen, but the word of God says that open rebuke is better than secret love. Amen. When you truly love an individual, when you truly possess the love that you profess and confess to have for an individual, that means that you love them down to their soul. And if you see them doing something, saying something that's detrimental to their soul, you're going to say things. You're going to cry loud and spare not. You're going to lift up, you're going to lift up your voice like a trumpet. And like the scripture said in Ezekiel 33, you're going to sound the alarm because you don't want no blood on your hand. That's why. Amen. In judgment, you won't be able to say, well, Lord, you didn't deal with me or Lord, you didn't give me a message or Lord, you didn't convict me or I didn't feel any condemnation because a lot of you do feel condemnation. But due to the fact that you don't want to lose your position in your congregation or you've uh, got a salary now in your congregation, you know, you're not going to cry loud, you're not going to give the people the whole counsel, you know, of God, because a lot of you are, uh, are scared to lose a lot of followers. You're scared to lose your congregation. You're scared to lose your fans. I am not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. I am not a perfect man. I'm not representing a denomination. I'm not representing a religious organization. I'm simply representing the truth. There is consequences for not seeking God. Amen. You got to stand before God and you got to sit up there and present yourself blameless. You got to be without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, or any such thing on that day. Otherwise, your soul is going to be lost. But like I said, I'm just a nobody endeavoring to tell somebody, you know, everybody about these somebodies that's leading these everybody's to a place called hell, to a place called the lake of fire. I ain't nobody. I'm not nobody's pastor, I'm not nobody's bishop, it's just my perspective. And feel free to curse me out, feel free to write scrolls, feel free to say my mama wasn't this, feel free to say you're going to beat me up when you see me, feel free to do all of these things. But I want you to know at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, if you are not in the body of Christ, if you die outside of the will of God, no pastor, no bishop, no apostle can put you in the kingdom of God. Because I want you guys to have a foundation. A lot of you have asked me, you know, uh, I went through the other videos and you're talking about drug dealing, you're talking about game banging, you're talking about pimping. Yes, I'm an informative representative of the streets or anything, any type of knowledge or wisdom that I could give you to give you a foundation, to give you information you know, whether it be about the location of the streets or whether it be about this congregation to keep you from going to the destination called hell. Any inspiration or uncommon information that I can give you to help you get to that destination called success, I'm going to give it to you because to whom much is given, much is required. And one thing about even when a person is backslidden or, you know, the main not fellowshipping currently with God, the, gift, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. A lot of you 
are not going to see the definition and vision of God's true holiness until you come out of sin. That disaster that's keeping you from seeing the vision and definition of God's true holiness. As the scripture said, in the year of King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. A lot of you are not going to see God's truth until basically those lies are covered. God's truth cannot be established in your heart until the lies of the devil, of the enemy, is abolished in your mind. You guys be blessed. It's been beautiful. Uh, may God be glorified. May Jesus be magnified. May the saints of God be edified. And may the enemy be terrified, you know, by the irrefutable truth that I'm going to bring concerning the God, God's word. You saints, you pray for me. Keep my name up, Philip Gilmore, in prayer. Stay blessed. What's to come is definitely better than what's been. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Stay